Hi guys, Dan here from Trojan Art Painting. This is my 50th video uh, to put up on YouTube. I made a video about a scratch built model of the Battleship Mississippi BB 23 back on uh, video number 20 back in November. Um, this is going to be kind of a follow up to that. That was one ship in a four ship group that that me and a partner of mine made for the uh, Mississippi uh, Department of Archives and History. Uh, but this is this year's the 10th anniversary of when we did that project. I was watching uh, 745 make his, uh, his airfix model of the, the victory and it, the struggles he was going through with that. And, and uh, man, you got no idea. Scratch building. The scratch building, you know, I feel your pain, I guess I'll say. Now, the thing about these ships that made them kind of. Uh, more difficult than it might otherwise have been is that the display cases that they uh, made for the exhibit with this, for the Smithsonian they they were all climate controlled and all that crap and all the ships uh, they wanted them all to be 39 inches long so you know that the ships were really different if they would have all been the same scale they would have been really different sizes but to make them all 39 inches long that that meant that they really weren't any any particular scale that we could you know get fittings for uh, so we had to make everything uh, scratch built. There was a few things we could get, uh, but for the most part, everything had to be scratch built from the keel up. We made the keel, uh, you know, started with just like a regular, at least like a real ship's built. The keel, and then the put the frames or the ribs on it, and then and then the the side planking, and used every material. You know, well, if you see the the previous video on BB23, there's a list of materials at the end, but pear wood, basswood apple, tin, brass sheet, string, paper, I mean, you know, everything imaginable. But anyway, this being the 10th anniversary, I thought I'd cover the project we did in a little more detail. Now, I don't have any uh, in-progress photos of the other ships like I did for the first one. I do have a series of uh, close-up photos for BB-41, the battleship Mississippi uh, World War II era battleship that, that I'll, I'll put on. But the first ship, uh, I'll just show you a picture of the, the steamer Mississippi. And then the, uh, the last one as well, uh, CGN-40, the uh, nuclear-guided missile cruiser. Anyway, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll get to it here. First, I guess a little background's in order. After I got out of the service, I got my teaching degree and taught fifth grade for a year in Dallas, Texas. And that's pretty much gangland and didn't really like that. And my wife's mom lived in Vicksburg, Mississippi about about 400 miles to the east just on the other side of the Mississippi River and my wife is traveling there all the time to see her mom and so we just decided to move there I was working in a casino there as a slot technician repairing slot machines until I could find something better but I, I found a real neat museum that had a lot of ship models from the Civil War a lot of other neat things and I started hanging around there this is a lesson to y'all that never want to get a you know, I guess any kind of job, just make yourself useful. I hung around, and then, you know, people would come in, and, and the guy would get up to show them around. I said, I'll show them around. And then I helped him clean up, and eventually he hired me. And by the time I left there, six years later, I was the curator. But anyway, one day, some fellows from the uh, Mississippi Department of Archives and History came in. They had seen our model ships and liked them, and they asked uh, if we'd be interested in making some model ships for a project they were working on called Pride of the Fleet. They needed four ships built to four ships named after the state of Mississippi. Actually, only three of them were named after the state of Mississippi because the first one was actually named after the river, but they didn't really care that. They went ahead and included it in the project. And so we, uh, you know, we made up a contract and over about the next year and a half, we got the four ships finished in time for the uh, Pride of the Fleet exhibit to open in Jackson, Mississippi, about 30 miles to the east of Vicksburg. Uh, me and a friend of mine named Dave Benway did the project. And it, uh, it was pretty cool. It was done along with the Smithsonian Institute who donated a lot of artifacts to go on display along with the ship models. And it was uh, it was right in the, uh, the, the uh, rotunda of the old Capitol building in uh, Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, and you can still see the models today in the, in the Senate chamber of the old Capitol building forever in the area. This is the guidebook that was sold during the exhibit. Here's the photo of the model. And here's a. It has throughout throughout the book here. It has 
pictures of artifacts that were lent by the Smithsonian. This is a naval officer's sword. It's got various photos and this, this story of the history of the ship. This is a painting of when it was sunk on March 14th of 1863 by the guns at Port Hudson. It was trying to run past the guns along with a bunch of other ships uh, from New Orleans up to Vicksburg. It ran aground and it's got blown to pieces. So that's how it came to its end. The Mississippi was sunk on the Mississippi. And this is a picture of Admiral Perry. He was his Mississippi was his flagship. He actually like supervised the, the design and construction of the ship. And uh, there's a quote from him here: "The Mississippi has always been a favorite with me. It was his flagship when he opened up Japan." This is the second Mississippi that the, the first video was made of, BB-23. Here's a picture of the model. This is a picture of the uh, the figurehead, which is actually you can see it. It's it's in the like right beside the parking lot at the new state capitol building. Sitting outdoors where everybody can see it. And the silver service and the sailors march in a parade. Here's a medal with the Smithsonian lint. Various other pictures. It met its end. It was uh, after it was uh, Mississippi was sold to Greece and it became the Kilkus. It was sunk by uh, German dive bombers in, in a Salamis Harbor on April 23rd, 1941. Third battleship Mississippi. There's the neck of the bottle from it when it was uh, christened. More artifacts from the Smithsonian. There's various pictures of wife on board. There's a the uniform. These stars represent the battle stars that the ship won during World War II, the locations. There's a picture of the model. Here's the uh, Mississippi State flag and the uh, Union Jack. Uh, that's one funny thing. Uh, when we built it, we built, you notice on the model, we built the uh, flag, and I'll point it out again when I show the model. But we put a, a Mississippi State flag right below the, uh, the ensign, just kind of for fun. And then when we went to the exhibit, when it opened, we found out they really did fly a Mississippi State flag on board the ship during World War II. So what started off as just kind of goofing off, kind of this is something to do for fun, ended up being historically accurate. A couple famous guys that served on board, you'll notice they had the picture flopped, the medals are on the wrong side. But here, this is Douglas Fairbanks and Jimmy Carter. And here's the fourth one, CGN 40. Real nice shot of it going through the Suez Canal. And there's more pictures of life on board. And then there's a picture of the, uh, the model. Pages are kind of coming out. Anyway, so that's the guidebook. So now I'm going to talk briefly about each model before I get to BB-41 and show the close-up photos. And the first thing you have to decide when you build any ship model, because many ships had, you have very long lives, and they go through numerous changes and refits and different upkeeps and changes in their armament, etc., that really changes their appearance uh, for the the side wheel frigate here, the first Mississippi, we decided to, to build her as she was first appeared when commissioned in 1841, uh, because that's when she was prettiest. By the time of the American Civil War, when she was sunk, her mast had been cut off because she was operating on the river. She had more guns installed and just uh, wasn't nearly as nice looking of a ship. So Plus, her uh, because of her association with Commodore Matthew Perry, we wanted her to look like she looked when she was built, so that's that's how we did it. Seven life rafts, all handmade uh, plank on frame. The paddle wheels actually work, and they're all made 
each bucket's laid in there and hand cut. And the uh, the guns, there's several different calibers of guns. The carriages were all carved out of walnut, as, as were the barrels. Then they, we made uh, RTV molds and cast them in tin, same as with the anchors. Just a really time-consuming and, and a painstaking job. Second model, USS Mississippi and the first battleship, BB-23, is the one that I made the previous video about, so I won't go into great detail, except to say uh, what time period she was modeled in. She was not as uh, modeled as she appeared when she was commissioned. She had initially had a white hull and done upper works and didn't have the cage mass. Uh, we modeled her to appear as she did in 1914 on Veracruz. That was the first time that a reconnaissance flight by aircraft was made off of a ship at sea and we've also modeled the uh, little airplane you can see there on the aft turret. Even the little propeller on the airplane is hand carved. All right, third, the second battleship, BB-41. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it here because so I'll talk about it more in a minute. And finally, the fourth USS Mississippi CGN-40, the guided missile cruiser as she appeared here in Operation Desert Storm in 1991. This model, just because of the sleek design and lack of clutter on the decks was by far the easiest ship of the bunch to construct. But we did put a little love into it. The, the uh, standard extended range missiles are all hand carved. See the Tomahawk missile box launchers aft. Hand uh, sculpted the life raft capsules and then cast them in resin. Turned out looking nice and sleek just like she really did. And overall a very, very beautiful ship and she was uh, a joy to uh, create. And since this project was completed 10 years ago, there has been a fifth USS Mississippi commission into the United States Navy. The Fast Attack Submarine USS Mississippi SSN 782 was commissioned last summer. Okay, finally we're back to the Bell of the Ball, the World War II battleship USS Mississippi BB-41. She was a New Mexico class battleship. There were three ships in the class, New Mexico, Mississippi, and Idaho. First commissioned in December of 1917, too late to participate in World War One. She's shown here without the lattice or cage mast that she was commissioned with. Uh, she underwent a major refit in 1931 that gave her the tower you see forward and removed the aft cage mast as well. So she was 624 feet in length, about 32,000 ton displacement. As commissioned, she had a beam of 97 feet. During her 1931 overhaul, it was extended to 106 feet because of the uh, addition of torpedo blisters on the sides. And she, her main armament was uh, 12 14-inch guns. And we modeled her as she appeared at Lingayen Gulf in January of 1945. But other times during the war, she was either sporting a measure 22, which was navy blue hull with haze gray upper works, or Measure 21, which was overall navy blue, both of which were very ugly. And here are the close-up pictures. We'll start at uh, starboard forward on the forecastle and work our way aft and then back forward around the port side. You can see the Mississippi State flag flying there below the ensign that I mentioned earlier. Wouldn't use flash these days, but 10 years ago didn't know any better. Alright, so that's it for BB-41. Okay guys, you're all caught up with the Pride of the Fleet project for the state of Mississippi. Hope this inspired one or two of you that might be struggling with your models or provide a little entertainment for my 50th video. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you again soon. Keep painting, keep your positive attitudes. Bye.